a snake, man, you've been alive. I, 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 cut us down, man, you multiply. I don't care, man, I fly to you. Air Jordans while I take flight. That was a line from back in the day. Big up, Gershom, we'll be doing fine. I, I, where the time go? Bye bye to my old flow. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Essence of Shay. You guys should do an intro song for me and send it to me incorporating Essence of Shay and Tiger Lily Squad and just let me know, like, what's the tea? You get what I'm saying? Like, I think I'm gonna enjoy that. So I'll wait. In this video, we will be talking about the pros and cons of locks or dreadlocks. Or whatever y'all call it, because apparently me saying that it should be called locks was a problem for some. So, look, I ain't telling you how to, what to call what's on top of your head. I'm just saying that this is my channel and this is what I decide to call it. So don't get all, get your panties in a bunch, people. Come on, it's not that serious. It's really not. This is all for entertainment and to educate you a little bit. So we're gonna start off with the pros. Number one is you don't have to worry about putting a comb or a flat iron or the creamy crack or any of that crazy stuff to your hair no more. It's just a thin line of a knot that forms into a luscious lock like a sponge almost and that's all you got to worry about you don't have to worry about combing your hair and doing all that crazy stuff to your hair anymore hey guys it's your girl shay question have you subscribed because you're always here you might as well just join the tiger lily squad gang gang and turn on your notification bells all right let's get back to the video two <sighs> It has become a fashion statement. The amount of things that you can do with your locks, styling, coloring, accessories, all this stuff you can do with your locks. To me, it has become a big thing for me because I spoke about this before, but it has become a major confidence booster for me. When I had my locks, it, it, it was like a journey that I went through. I felt like I was just a little, a little crab in the big ocean of life. And now I have my locks. I feel like Ursula in this bitch, okay? And if you don't know who Ursula is, you need to watch The Little Mermaid right now. Four, they're, they're maintenance free, somewhat. They're not as maintenance full as other hairstyles may be. So it's almost in the low end totem pole of maintenance type hairstyles, but there is some maintenance that you have to do. So you don't have to worry about the wash and goes and twist and set and, I don't know, but y'all know what they are. You ain't gotta worry about that. And if you curl, if the wash and go, if you ain't put that much uh, gel in it, it might do the thing and the thing, the curl and the poof. Yeah, that. My favorite thing is no more bad hair days. Check ya. These are locks, eh? So if you have a little frizz or a little new growth that's happening, you could rock it and nobody's gonna look at you like, fam, why your hair looks so no such thing as a hair day a bad hair day anymore at least for me because in the beginning yes if my hair wasn't retwisted and i didn't have the the nice style and i wasn't looking fleeky for facebook because we wasn't worried about the gram right then then i had an issue but now look at my new growth look you think i care you think shake hairs she don't. So now that we got the pros out the way, let's talk about the cons. The number one thing is just like unwanted attention and it's not usually the good attention. There are people out there who have a negative spin on people with locks. I spoke about this before and it is what it is. Like I just see, see us as royalty and some people just don't understand royalty. You feel me dogs? 
Two, they are a little time consuming. Let me tell y'all something, eh? Hi, coño. It takes a while for it to lock. It takes a while for it to grow. It takes a while for you to start realizing what products you should use in your hair and what you shouldn't. It's just a process. So for some, that can be a little time consuming because like locks, with locks and not other hairstyle, this is something that you have to just let it run its course and do what it has to do. You can't just speed the, well, you can in certain situations like lock extensions and stuff. But ultimately, even with that, you still just have to let it lock on its own you can't force it you can't do all this stuff so it can be time consuming the third one is you can't is it really considered hygiene kind of because because you're not supposed to i mean you can if you want but usually people wash their hair like every day or every three days or something like that. And in the lock community, I feel like people don't really wash their hair that much. At least I haven't heard that. And things like lint and um, build up and itchy scalp and stuff like that tend to happen. Not all the time, but that is a factor that can be a con. In a sense, you see, as I say, uh, I'm scratching my hair. Just thinking about it, like, duh. you can't really run from it. So, I guess that's possibly a con. The one that gets me the most is when you get your dope hairstyle and you cannot go to sleep. Like, these pipe cleaners are so difficult to sleep in. Perm rods. Um... If you have your hair in a, uh, like some sort of updo or something, all hairstyles with locks are the worst to sleep in. Oh my gosh. You'll sit there and you'll be like, yo, I look so cute, eh? I'm about to get this man, eh? Look at this, eh? These curls about to be popping, eh? But is my sleep popping? It is not. My sleep is the worst. It's off the Richter scale. All in all, locks have been the best decision that I have made. And a few of you guys had said, have said the same thing. But before you even embrace that journey or if you're in it now, go through the list that I said. And if the cons outweigh the pros, this is probably not the community that you want to be a part of it is what it is you see a lot of people out there combing out their hair their locks and whatnot because after a while they just realize it's not for them or they need a change and some people that's not even any of that because they're gonna grow it back they just needed to restart their lock journey so they are part of the gang forever but other people this is just not for you if you don't like the stares if you don't like the crazy questions if you don't like the fact that it takes forever for your hair to grow or you don't like the lint and the frizz and all that stuff says queen empress of light king my youth this not for you just deal with it take that l Hold that L. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to go to my other channel, That Girl With Locks, and subscribe over there. And I love you guys for watching. See you later, Tiger Lilies! Toodles! Crash course. Let me find the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the curb.